So we have White H2O, aka Ninja Check, that needs help on prepping to get the rest of his elite classes. So obviously this is going to be an earlier game progression, so you guys will definitely get a lot of help from this one if you are in this current state in time. So let's take a quick look as always, take a look at the player menu. So we have Ninja Check, Ninja Check 2, which is 133, 90, 92, 86, 74, 86, 81, 76, 91, and 75. So just taking a look at your classes at the moment, it seems that you have Divine Knight right off the get-go. That's great to see. And you did tell me that you also have Elemental Sorcerer. So what I would suggest for your next one is definitely go for Blood Berserker to start farming out those ladles as soon as possible. Right now, it seems that you're working on fishing and pushing on Snelbys. I see you have a five-star Blitzkrieg troll. You'll love to see it. So let's take a quick look at your equipment here. Let's see what you're rolling with. So you have Amrock. Okay. Okay. Iron. Dementia. Iron. Gold. Gold. Iron. Okay, so right off the get-go. Get everyone in Amarok gear with tier 4 stones. So if you ever hear me reference to Amarok gear tier 4, as I'm referring to what upgrade stones that you use. If I call it a tier 4 Amarok, that means you're using an Amarok gear with tier 4 stones. So you want to get everybody into Amarok with their tier 4, and then move to plat to dementia yes that is a good thing no helmet can be anywhere from i would say try to get a platinum if you can platinum helmet will be an absolute huge to you you don't you want to skip amrock helmet completely because amrock helmet is stupid expensive and it doesn't give you the stuff that you actually really want so we'll set that as h2o the woodular circle is just not worth it early game also Get everyone in serrated Rex rings. And if you don't know how to get serrated Rex rings, you can buy the normal Rex rings at the floor boat shop for very, very cheap. It's very, very, very non-cost effective. And then all you have to do is make sure you farm the recipe from Baba Yaga. You can do this by showing up every hour at Wood Mu or Orange Mushrooms, or you can go to the Coliseum where you can find Baba Yaga if you can clear it fully. The next one is get everyone in iron tools. This is super easy to do. Even like stuff like skulls, super basic. Even stuff like traps, super easy, especially nowadays, especially since you have a maestro, you can run transfusion, put everybody on the traps uh, until you start getting enough XP. Then you can start running nature traps on people, getting their XP super huge, and then start getting more trapping boxes on your characters, which is just more stat sticks. Same with the skulls, getting more stat sticks. Same with all the tools and everything. It's just more stat sticks. I see that you already have a plat fishing rod, but getting everyone to iron tools, see you already have the Rex rings there with your 5% skill efficiency. You already have the serrated Rex rings right here, so you're perfectly good on that one. So you just want to continue getting everyone to the serrated. I see you have a couple of sleek shank necklaces. So the next thing I want you to do is start getting bludgeons. Bludgeon necklace. And for mages... Camarok Pendants. Using Transfusion for trapping, how do I do that? So when you go in to set your traps, since you can set traps on every single character on one person, you want to use your Maestro, pop Transfusion, and then place your traps for XP traps only because it nerfs your efficiency. And then if you're looking for massive critters and massive efficiency, then you want to run your Hunter. You have farmed out idle... I mean, you already have Idle Skiller, so I mean, that's already a huge thing. So that's massive. I mean, you also have the keychains. I absolutely juicing yourself out. Also, you need to upgrade a lot of your weapons. I would also suggest getting everyone to at least Glacial. That would be a huge one to also get. But now that we've just quickly gone over this stuff, let's take a look at the other stuff that we have going here. Post Office. I mean... You got their 400 boxes for the main ones. That's perfect. That's totally fine. Let's take a look at your stamps. Stamps are 1,500. Since you're in World 4, World 1 to World 3 stamp collection. You want to get all these stamps collecting, and then you want to start upgrading these ones. Some of these are super cheap. Some of these are super expensive. But for the most part, I, I could easily see you squeezing about another 
I would say about another 500 levels, especially once you get all the stamps. So you want to first off finish off your stamp collection and start leveling up your stamps. Alchemy. Let's take a look here. Okay, well, if you don't know, you can use the talent from the Shaman, known as Bubble Breakthrough, to increase the percent of new bubble odds. If you have not done this already, I would strongly suggest to do that. So maintain. Maintain unlocking new bubbles. And also keep on leveling FMJ and Shackercy to a minimum of level 50. There you go. And make sure to use your cranium cooking every single day. Even though it's a huge cooldown, if you can use it, abuse it. Use it as much as you can, even if you get it for a few seconds. It is what it is. No... Literally having some per seconds skipped is better than having no seconds skipped. So those are going to be your two biggest ones is FMG and Shackercy. You definitely want to get those up as soon as possible. Your Vials. Most of them level four. You're already on the track of that, so that's fine. You're working on all level four Vials. That's perfect. That's what you want. That's the money right there. You're not working on Sigils yet. Perfect. Do not work on Sigils yet. So I'm glad that you haven't worked on it. Okay, you got your rank start happening. That's good. Make sure to use your skills for your for your refinery. You want to make sure to use both your both your divine knights. Salt Lake seems to be going good, not too shabby. 3D printer. So you have about 91.5k, 92.3k, 9.3k, 2.21, 1.3, 197, 1.31, and 1.52. Which is actually not terrible. Your prints are actually doing all right for where you're at in the game. The one thing I would suggest, though, is I would also suggest to make sure that you get, even if it's a small print, even if it's a super, super small print, get bloaches and also get fruit flies. So get bloaches and fruit fly print. And you might not be able to do it. I know, because since you're at that level, try, there's nothing harder than trying to get a bloach print. Let's be honest here. Getting a bloach print is the most hardest thing to do, but once you do it, it's going to be great. You definitely want to work on your skulls. Getting your skulls done is going to be huge. Bigger skull, better person. Bigger skull, better person. Also, a big thing to check. Are you running Royal Sampler on everybody? What level is it? Level one. So if you could take the time, what I would strongly suggest is level up your Royal Sampler. I would say level up your Royal Sampler to about 11. Level 11. Because the all-time major goal is to make sure to hit 90% printer sample size, which is more than possible, especially where you are right now. If you manage to hit, and if you need to check this, you can check in the skill info and go to construction and check out your construction. This is going to be huge for you to at least get it to like a level 11 because this will help you accumulate to the 90% goal. And this will just all around give you tons of things. And also, as I'm seeing here, if I'm correct, World 4, another huge gains. Farm out your star signs. You want to unlock all of your star signs. You want to get at least to the times three here. Because if you can get three star signs, that means you're looking super good. And that's that's on the uh, Hydron tab. Now the Cronus is the first page. Hydron's the second tab. And that gives you huge damage percent. Uh, you know, it gives you not only that, you can also run stuff like the Forsaken, which is also pretty massive for AFK games. But the big ones are like the Feisty, Overachiever, the Bulwark. All of those will give you massive, massive damage percent, and that's something that you truly want, especially if you're trying to push everybody to elite class. So make sure to getting your three star signs is huge. Star signs, I would say early game is like 20% of your account. I'm not even kidding. Literally, literally early game star signs is about 20%. It becomes less percent later into the game, but it's also one of the most important things in the game. Yeah, let's take a quick look here. And also, if you're... I mean, you do got some really, really good cards. You got, bro, you got some nasty ass cards, bro. <laughs> for your, for where you are, you got nasty cards. What the, what the, dude? All right, sick. 
Let's take a look where your how's your death note looking? To be expected. Death note is death note. I mean if you're if you if you're looking to push if you're looking to push more, I would if if anything, I would suggest not quite yet, but when you're ready. When you're ready, go for blurple skulls. Super easy to get. Blurple skulls are are super super easy. If not, get like at least plat skulls. At least plat skulls. But if you if you're feeling advantageous, go for the blurples. Hundred percent because. You got to realize this is every time you get a next tier of skull, you're increasing your multi kill per tier for that wor world. And bigger multi kill per tier per world just means one thing and one thing only bigger 3D prints. How do you know when you're ready? So you know when you're ready to do it. When you take a look at your AFK gains and you know that it takes less than a month to complete one, if it takes you a week. Ideally, you want to have it so it takes you about a week per. If, if it could take less, then it's great. But seeing that how he has troll card at five star, he has a juicer right now. The buildings are looking all right, and he's already working on his death note. Keep working on death note. Death note is your most important one to max first. Salt lick, that's good. Chest storage space, also fantastic. You want to get automation arm as soon as possible, but you're probably not there yet. And then you're going to eventually unlock all these other guys. You know, Crescent Shrine is a massive one. So, I mean, you're, you're working good. I would say work on just unlocking all buildings for the start. Unlock all buildings at the start. If can. So that's what I, that's, that's, that's the next one that I would suggest for that one. But your shrines, you know, they're level eight. They're looking fine. How's your cooking looking? So you just started cooking. So since you just started cooking, that would be, don't worry. Cooking gets super, super easy once you get V-Man. D-Man makes life a living dream. Uh, do, so if if you're if you're if you're thinking about even going for Adam Clyder, uh, I know White didn't say that, but if White did say that, going for Adam Clyder is not necessary right now. You have so many other things that you need to take care of. So what are you even missing for constellations? Uh, this one's easy. Th this one's easy four points right here. You can skip Echoing Aggress. You don't need to get that one right away. Roll two. Easy one, easy one, easy one, easy. All of world two is easy peasy. World three, you're not quite there yet because you have to get level 90 on all characters, but that will happen uh, in due time. Defeat a single sheepy barehanded. This probably, it, it should be, it should be plausible where you are at the moment. Trapping level on five players. Do you not have, do you not have all your characters on, on max trapping? 18, 16, 18, 15, 19. You can finish that star sign. I'm pretty sure with where you are right now, you could easily get Hydron done. Easily unlock Hydron without, without even trying. It's just something that you just haven't done. So I would strongly suggest to do that as soon as possible. How's your lab looking? Okay, you got, you got, fuck, you got a lot of jewels. Okay, huge one. When pushing world four, have enough characters in lab to get killer uh, killer bright side and this equals to times two kills killer bright side will instantly give you times two kills no matter what you 100 percent if you're ever pushing to anything whatsoever that requires you portal kills killer bright side a hundred percent killer bright side you want to roll this and that will help you instantly get your elite classes without even trying so I think I think where we're at right now, where this is a good stopping point, this is going to give you tons of tons to work to. So, H2O, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get everybody into Amarok Tier 4, which is upgrade stones with Tier 4 stones, which you can get in World 4 since you're already there. And, move, and then once you're done that, move to Plat to Dementia. Obviously, no Amarok helmet. That could be a Platinum or Dementia helmet. Get everyone in serrated rex rings because you get these into serrated rex rings you tier four of them it's great defense great great stats but then after you're done that and once you have the better rings then they can be replaced but you can keep those rings because they're still meant for the skill efficiency get everyone in iron tools this is simply just to get everyone in iron tools just so they're nice and get some extra stats you'll love to see it that helps with damage not only that helps with accuracy as well 
And then you want to get bludgeon necklaces for everyone. And for your mages specifically, you want Camrock Pendant because Camrock Pendant gives the most intellect or sorry, most wisdom in the game. And that will just overall help you get everyone in Glacial. Absolutely want to get everyone in Glacial as soon as possible. This is just another huge boost. World to one to world three stamp collection. This will help your elemental sorcerer damage because it's from your wizard tab. This will be your main source of wizard damage for a long time. So you want to make sure you get those all done and then level it up. I would say you could probably do another 500 levels. So you have an average stamp level of 2000. And then maintain unlocking new bubbles, obviously with bubble break through shaman talent and keep on leveling FMJ and Shacracy to a minimum of level 50. That's going to help you pretty much through world five. And then if you can get a bloaches and fruit fly print just to make sure to juice that up even more. If you want, you could work on getting multi-kill per tier first before you start working on getting your, uh, well, I guess that doesn't matter. Never mind, I take that back. That doesn't matter at all. Uh, you can start working on your multi-bubbles, your multi-big bubbles to help out because they can cap at 300% to get a uh, fruit flies and bloaches print. And uh, work on your skulls, huge skulls, bigger skulls, better person. We all know how it is. Now I suggest getting your roller sampler to level 11 because the major goal is make sure to hit 90% printer sample size, which will be even bigger. Farm out your star signs to get three star signs. This is a giant increase. Also will help you immensely for pushing portals because it'll increase your damage percent and also might help you hit multi-kill. And then when you're ready, only when you're ready, you can start farming out your death note to go for blurples. Unlock old buildings if you can. I know you're locked by salts, but you know, just start farming towards those salts. And when pushing through World 4 and you have enough characters in lab to get Killer Brightside for two times kills, because hey, two times kills means twice as fast. There you go. There you go, dude. That's what I want you to work on.